Basic Sciences is entirely concerned with choosing the best possible model systems for asking very fundamental questions about life. The simple mechanisms that underlie the operation of a complex system. A fundamental understanding of how biology works. A basic discovery, and you never know where it's going to lead. It could lead anywhere. Basic Science is the pursuit of understanding what life is. Behind every breakthrough that leads to the newest treatment for a disease are basic discoveries. History has taught us that that basic science research is going to lead down to a better understanding and a better therapeutic intervention down the line. And the importance of those basic studies is almost indescribable for developing medicine. And what is really cool about this work is that this is going to save lives in the long term. So much of science, so much of the world today is really not necessarily about creating new knowledge, but just taking existing knowledge and linking it in new ways. Science is a continuum that has a beginning we don't, can't even remember anymore, and it's got a future that uh, is almost endless. Basic. One of the things that we're trying to do now is to investigate the neural circuits that are involved in appetite. In biology, we're reaching kind of a, a critical point where we're starting to be able to look at genetic differences between people, disease susceptibilities of individual people, and, and it's becoming a much more interactive process. A basic sciences discovery completely changes the game in terms of how you would go about treating not just one type of cancer, but pretty much every kind of cancer. My laboratory and I stumbled into the area of gene targeting and these interesting molecules called homing endonucleases entirely by accident. In 1986, I was a postdoc in the laboratory of Dr. William Carter, who is a member of basic sciences here at Fred Hutchinson. It turned out that that fundamental area of study uh, had tremendous uh, implications for human health in the area of gene therapy. And I initiated a series of experiments that eventually led to uh, the development of a drug which is being used for the treatment of multiple sclerosis and is on the market today. The possibility that the work we are doing is going to save lives is both a huge responsibility, but I also feel it's a huge privilege. I saw people get out of wheelchairs and walk, people who were blind who could see, and I can't describe to you how I felt knowing that what I had worked on almost 30 years before with a simple, basic experiment had led to the development of such a powerful drug that was changing the lives of so many people. Basic. It's very clear to me that completely novel ways to actually cure people of these diseases through gene correction is going to be realized uh, certainly within my lifetime. Pretty much every successful cancer intervention strategy I can trace back to a singular invention, a singular eureka moment in a basic sciences lab. The point of our work is to control time for living things, to decrease the burning of the candle. But the work we are doing is absolutely fundamental to keeping that well of ideas going. To extend the time that the person who's injured has so that those who are responding to that person can with all due haste give care and extend the possibility for that person in the future. I get up early every morning um, with a sense of excitement. Every day I come in and every day is ripe with possibility. I'm going to come to the lab, I'm going to work with extraordinarily smart, talented people. Every day that Eureka moment is just around the corner and, and 
I'd be lying if you didn't say that that Eureka moment is what we live for. And we're going to learn something new about the physical world and about biology. When you and maybe some of your students have this unsaid realization that you have figured out something. Uh, and it's an extraordinary feeling to realize that you know something about the physical world that no one else has ever known before. Absolutely nobody in the world has even thought of, even as a question, and you figured out the answer. It's really sort of the center of why basic research is so incredibly uh, exciting. Basic. Supporting basic science is a way that you can support the discovery of how systems work that is critical to developing ways to prevent and cure disease. The opportunity to contribute knowledge to the field of human health is its an honor as well as an incredibly exciting opportunity. Uh, here we are uh, not so much limited by our creativity, but we are financially concerned. And you are patrons of artists, except the artists here are really artists who are potentially going to do work that will save lives. Life is, in the end, something we don't understand. The pursuit of basic science is, is to understand that, and I am trying to do that. My name is Barry Stoddard. I'm Linda Buck. My name is Elizabeth Weiner. My name is Harmeet Malik. My name is Jesse Bloom. My name is Mark, and I am a scientist at Fred Hutch. And I'm a member of the Basic Sciences Division at the Hutch. Fred Hutchinson. At the Fred Hutch Cancer Center.